everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you crock pot meal dinners. This has been highly requested, so I hope that you really enjoy it. I'm gonna hop right into my first one. I am making, um, it's like a chicken and potato garlic parmesan dish. So garlic parmesan chicken crock pot meal, I guess. <laughs> it's really good, you'll like it. So this is all what you're gonna need. I have a pound of whole red potatoes. Um, this recipe calls for two pounds of bone-in chicken thighs, but I'm using like one and a half pounds of regular chicken thighs. You're gonna need two tablespoons of butter, five garlic cloves, and two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And for our spices, I'm using black pepper, um, a little bit of salt, Italian seasoning, and thyme. The recipe also calls for fresh thyme and fresh uh, oregano, but I'll have all the recipes linked in my description box. And as always, you can follow me on Pinterest if you wanna see this. So I'm just gonna salt and pepper the chicken thighs. And I'm just going to sear them. I just sprayed my pan. And this is really just to get some color on the outside. You don't have to cook them all the way through. You can skip this step, but this does give it a lot more flavor this way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper the other side. So while that is searing, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my crock pot liner. I'll have these links below. I get these from Amazon Prime, and they're a lifesaver. You can see they're really saving me because my crock pot is actually cracked. So I need a new crock pot as well. So it's on my list. <laughs> Got a nice little sear going on the chicken. I have my potatoes in, putting in my garlic. And now I'm just going to add those two tablespoons of butter I melted slightly. A little bit of oil. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of oil. I just eyeball it. Um, my Parmesan cheese. Again, adjust spices according to what you like. Thyme is probably, it's not on my top favorite seasoning, so I'm not gonna do too much. Again, I'll have exact measurements in the recipe linked below. This is just how I make it. And then a little bit of Italian seasoning. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and give that all a stir. I'll show you what it looks like before I add my chicken. And if you are using one of these bags, just make sure that you don't pierce the bag when you're stirring, because I've made the mistake and have done that before. Okay. So this is what the potatoes look like mixed with the oil, butter, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and thyme. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add my chicken. Okay, my chicken thighs are in. And now I'm just going to salt and pepper everything. And I'm going to give this a quick little toss of everything, kind of just stir it all up. Again, be careful about your bag. And now I'm just going to cover this and you can do it on low for eight hours or in my case, I'm doing it on high for four hours. 
Okay, it is four hours later. Ooh, smoking up my lens. It smells amazing. <laughs> Yummy. You like this chicken? Good. That makes me so happy. You like it too? The potatoes are still hot, honey. So the boys are doing a really great job with their dinner. I like it. I just feel like it needs more. I not want potatoes. Okay, you don't have to eat potatoes. Um, I feel like I'm really happy that you're eating your chicken. It needs more seasoning, in my opinion. Um, you can keep it kind of bland for the kids. As you see, my boys are actually both eating it, but I would definitely add more seasoning. Okay, so this is the easiest one of all. Literally just chicken thighs, like about a pound. And then I'm adding this uh, Campbell skillet sauce. However, I'm putting it in the crock pot. Usually you can just cook it on the stove really quickly. But this is um, chicken marsala. And I'm going to do this on low for about like six hours or so. And I will update you. So this is how it came out. It looks and smells delicious. And then we just made some rice and some broccoli to go with it. Okay guys, so this one doesn't get much easier. Got a crock pot liner, two chicken breasts. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper. And then this is just a creamy basil alfredo sauce. And my friend Brianna Kay on YouTube makes this with, she just puts this in there with the chicken and then she puts fresh garlic. Um, my heartburn is already on fleek this pregnancy, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of garlic powder in its place. So, Tanner, what are you doing in there? Oh, you got mommy's baking racks out. Okay. You got it, yeah. I got <laughs> Mom life, garlic. I'm gonna put the whole hi guys. I'm gonna put the whole thing in because I'm gonna serve it over pasta and Brianna served hers over um, the what are they called? Zoodles. So you can do that if you're being healthy. And then I'm doing um, four hours on high. You can do eight hours on low. Can we just take a second? Tanner, what are you doing, mister? Fire! Fire! You got your fire? Did mommy say you could go on that? Yeah. No, I didn't. But I'll show you this when it's finished. You guys, this came out amazing. I did an entire pound of pasta because I personally, I don't like leftovers, but I love cold pasta. I know that's weird. But. Look how good this looks. And it smells amazing. And this is probably the easiest crock pot meal I've ever done. Gonna give this one a thumbs up. And today, since I'm recording, this will be like a bunch of days together, this uh, cooking video, because I want to give you a bunch of meal ideas at once for you to choose from and to meal plan. But today I started fundraising for um, No Kid Hungry. And it's only been a few hours and we already raised $700. That is amazing. I'm going to leave the link below. One dollar is 10 meals for a kid that is in need. So, really amazing. And I, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but um, we didn't grow up with a lot. My mom is amazing. She took really good care of us. She worked a bunch of jobs. But around Thanksgiving time, we had our church donate a turkey and a bunch of food to us. And I just remember my mom, crying and being so thankful for that so I just I want to give back as much as I can and this is just a very small way so make sure to check out that link below and I think the minimum you can donate is five dollars and if you can't donate you can help so much just by sharing my link so I topped it with some fresh mozzarella because I'm Tiffany and I love cheese 
and um, oh, I know what I was gonna say. I wanted to show you guys that this is the gluten-free pasta that we love. So far, this is our favorite. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so tonight I am making um, a chicken enchilada soup. Super easy, super delicious. You're gonna start with your chicken breast. Um, a minor thin slice just because that is all that I had on hand. But I'm sure that like chicken thighs or like actual thicker chicken breast would be better in this. So I'm just going to salt and pepper my chicken. And I'm just going to use a little bit of minced garlic. Or garlic powder. I probably just used the minced garlic sticker because that's the only one I had. A packet of taco seasoning. Just put, you want all the seasonings right on top of the chicken to get the most flavor out of it. Now I'm going to add my veggies, which are just a can of black beans that I rinsed and drained. And then also a can of corn. All I had was frozen, so I just put it in my black bean thing. And then we're going to use one cup of salsa. I just use the Newman's Mild Salsa. And then I also have one yellow onion. You can use whatever type of onion that you like. Um, yellow onions are my favorite. So I just chop this up, put this on top of the salsa. Really, you can throw this in in no particular order, so that's clearly what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and then we have one can of 28 ounce red enchilada sauce that I already went ahead and opened up. I'm just gonna pour that in. It smells so good already, I seriously cannot wait to eat this. And then you just like top it with tortillas and cheese um, it's delicious. And then last but not least, we have two cups of chicken broth. And I'm going to, you can use vegetable as well. Um, I'm going to do this on low for four hours. For, uh, okay, see, it's, tw it's almost one o'clock now and Chris gets home early tonight. So I think I'm gonna do it for, hmm, I'll do it on high for four hours because he's home early tonight, so on his early nights, we, we like to have an early dinner. Um, so high for four hours. At the end, we can go ahead and mix some cornstarch in if we want to thicken it, but we'll see how it comes up. So this is how Chris is having his topped with some cheddar cheese and some little pieces of tortilla chips. You can also do tortilla strips. And I did not um, do the cornstarch or anything like that. This is kind of how it comes out. And you can shred the chicken more, obviously, but yummy. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you like these four super easy, quick chicken crock pot meals. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Clearly, I love my crock pot. I do plan on making like a freezer meals video for before I give birth. I'm 32 weeks pregnant, so hopefully that video will come soon. Wow, you're eating your dinner like such a good boy. Again, this video, like most of my videos, are just straight real mom life. So sorry for the chaos and the craziness, but hope that helps some mamas out with some meal ideas for this week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And now I got Fizzy Show. I'm on fire. Hey, <laughs> subscribe to the Fizzy Show on his fire. He says. <laughs>
Chanel. 